Welcome to P-Scanner Module 2, an introduction to patient-centered outcomes research. In this module, we'll provide a general introduction to patient-centered outcomes research, or PCOR. PCOR is a new field that's emerged from the traditions of biomedical and health services research. Why is health research important? Well, it provides high-quality health care and it achieves the best possible health outcomes for patients, but a number of steps are involved in this process. First, the research needs to focus on the right priorities, and it must be done with rigorous and relevant scientific methods. Okay, so everyone's different, right? But if health research is done well, clinicians and researchers can conclude whether treatment will work for the most people with certain characteristics. This provides assurance that the evidence or results of the research are reliable. So what next? Next, research results need to be translated into practical recommendations. That might involve creation of guidelines or protocols that clinicians and patients can actually follow. And finally, new protocols and guidelines developed with evidence-based research will result in excellent practices for patient care. By following these evidence-based guidelines, patients will achieve the best possible health outcomes. And that's the goal for health research to lead to the best outcomes for patients with the least risk. P-Scanner aims to help make this kind of research possible. Research is a systematic process to investigate hypotheses, suggest new interpretations of data, and pose new questions for future research to explore. A hypothesis is a question that can be tested. So what's the first step in research? <laughs> Good question. The first step in research is asking a question no one's asked before. Now, the second step is doing what's necessary to find the answer to the question. A researcher creates a systematic, logical process for collecting data and analyzing its results. The researcher has to communicate the results so others can use the knowledge to improve health. But the researcher must also document the process used to collect and analyze data so that another scientist could follow the same process to produce the same results. This process of dissemination and external validation, which we call scientific peer review, is how we attain greater confidence in the results. The Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, or PCORI, says that PCOR pays attention to two major components. PCOR's first component focuses on patients' needs and preferences and on outcomes most important to them. This includes an individual's preferences, autonomy, and needs. It addresses individual differences and barriers to adopting health practices, implementation, and dissemination. It highlights outcomes that people notice and, and care about, such as survival, function, symptoms, and health-related quality of life. PCOR's second component, it helps patients and other healthcare stakeholders, such as caregivers, clinicians, insurers, policymakers, and others, make better informed decisions about health and healthcare options. Note the use of the word options. It implies the comparison of different types of treatments, medications, or healthcare practices. This type of comparison of options is called comparative effectiveness research. Comparative Effectiveness Research, CER, looks at treatments that are already available to see which might be better for certain types of patients. For example, comparing two different asthma medicines to see which one helps patients breathe more easily. Or comparing whether surgery or laser treatments work better to treat a rare form of cancer. There are many different ways to design a research study. Three research designs that are commonly used to conduct patient-centered outcomes research, or PCOR, and comparative effectiveness research, or CER, are randomized controlled trials, pragmatic trials, and observational studies. The purpose of a randomized control trial, or RCT, is to discover if a treatment or intervention provides greater benefit than harm. This is called efficacy. RCTs are conducted in specific settings with tightly controlled protocols. They compare a group of participants who receive a treatment or intervention, an intervention group, with another group that does not, a control or comparison group. Participants must be randomly assigned to a group in order to prevent any bias in who's assigned to which group. So, in an RTC of a new medication, one group might get the new medication, the intervention group, while another, the control group, might receive a placebo, 
patients would be randomly assigned to one of the groups and might not know which group they're in. Pragmatic trials, on the other hand, discover if a treatment or intervention delivers benefits in natural practice settings. This involves comparing two or more alternatives for addressing prevention, diagnosis, treatment, or management of a disease or symptom. Pragmatic trials may also look at programs for improving the healthcare system, such as approaches to coordinating care or eliminating barriers that prevent access to health care. Participants may also be randomly assigned in this design. In pragmatic trials, we're often trying to see if the treatment that showed value or efficacy in an RCT also shows effectiveness in a regular practice setting. Observational studies seek answers from a variety of practice settings. These studies rely on information that was already collected during regular health care from electronic health records or registries, or they're simply tracking what outcomes occur when regular practices are followed. There's no assignment of people to treatments or interventions. This design is useful when researchers can't assign participants to treatment or control groups for practical or even ethical reasons. For example, we might want to understand how a tax increase on cigarettes impacts the smoking rates among adolescents in one city. So it wouldn't be practical to levy a tax in one part of town and not in another part of town, nor would we randomly assign some adolescents to buy cigarettes with or without the tax. The best design is simply to observe what happens after the tax is imposed. Do rates go up? Do they go down? If you're interested in learning more about Patient-Centered Outcomes Research, or PCOR, Comparative Effectiveness Research, or CER, and the study designs introduced in this module, here are several good resources you might enjoy. PScanner is a stakeholder-governed distributed clinical data network that aims to make health data and newly researched scientific evidence accessible and functional to patients, clinicians, and other stakeholders so that together they may use the information to make more informed health decisions. Our research topics are responsive to the priorities nominated by stakeholders, patients, patient advocates, clinicians, and researchers. While you may see any of the research designs we've discussed, our focus will remain patient-centered outcomes research and comparative effectiveness research. Thank you for joining us on this adventure to improve the efficiency and relevance of research that we hope will lead to better health for all patients.